Is Google Sheets overrated? We'll find out. Hi, I'm Andrew. I am the Google Sheets wizard at Better Sheets. And today I'm going to rate certain features of Google Sheets. There are three formulas that are the most searched for formulas that I found. I'm gonna rate them. Also, there are features and functions that you may not know about. Maybe you are using them all the time. And I'm gonna tell you if they're overrated, underrated, or correctly rated. So first things first, we have 10 items and then we will get to Google Sheets itself. The first thing on our list is conditional formatting. We take some criteria and change the formatting of certain words, cells, columns, rows. I think this is overrated. It was one of the most useful things, but having real data is better than conditional formatting. And what's even worse is that people will just color cells without conditional formatting, which is like way worse. But I still think conditional formatting is overrated. There is one aspect of conditional formatting I think is very correctly rated and people want to do a lot. And that is changing the entire row based on a criteria of one column. I think that's incredibly hard to understand that you can change the range of conditional formatting and apply the custom formula part of conditional format formatting. That I think is really awesome. As a whole, I think conditional formatting is way overused. Tiny formatting changes like bolding or changing color can get lost in the data. Drop down menus. This is a feature that has actually been added very recently and at the time, I thought, why do people need drop down menus? We already have data validation. We already have this, but these chips are cool. Now we have different styles. We can do plain text. We can use an arrow or this chip style. As you can see, I'm using it here. I think drop downs are correctly rated. I don't think they're underrated or overrated. I think they're well used. I think drop down from a range is like one of the greatest things in Google Sheets. It is a little taste of something like Airtable. And as you will probably see later in this video, I talk about tables. Google Sheets has been fighting against Airtable for the last few years, and we'll see a few new features based on that. Dropdown menus is one of them. Data validation is fantastic. I love it. And giving people the ability to click and choose is so user-friendly. It's great to add to Sheets all the time. It allows you to keep your data very clear and concise and give people options. I realized I spelled correctly wrong. And look how easy it is to edit. It's fantastic. I love it. Filter view. This is in the menu bar, create a filter. I think this is overrated. I hate this feature. It has given me so many problems. When I first started Google Sheets 10 years ago, people would create a filter view, start changing data around, but not realize that the filter view they were looking at is different than what they were doing. It would cause problems in Google Sheets. I have PTSD from this filter view option. In the company that I worked for when I originally started using Google Sheets and doing the Google Sheets for that company, I ended up banning people from using this filter view because it didn't work as expected. The problem I had is now solved. Google Sheets solved it, but literally within the last year. So it took them like nine years to figure out that people were doing this all the time. Downloading Google Sheets is extremely underrated. I love downloading Google Sheets in a lot of different ways. File, make a copy is just going to make a copy to your sheet. But downloading uh, PDFs, CSV files, I think are amazing. I think it really makes Google Sheets really awesome and useful to output data, to output reports, to create nice reports in PDF form instead of having to move data over to Google Docs. I love it. I also love that you can take any Google Sheet, add at the end of it slash PDF and a bunch of options. But check this out. If I go, if I use this URL here, go to the beginning of the URL, just go to the beginning of the URL, add better sheets, co slash PDF slash, just hit enter. And what it's going to do, it's going to allow you to choose options to download your PDF. When I create a URL with this, it'll create a URL that now anytime this URL is clicked, it will immediately download. So I can send this to someone if they have if they have the ability to download the sheet, like they're an editor or a viewer of the sheet, and I give them just the link, I don't have to attach the entire sheet to the email they can immediately download a PDF with these options attached. This URL trick is oh so amazing. I think it is extremely underrated. The template gallery over in Google Sheets is overrated. I haven't heard of anyone really using the template gallery. I think templates are something that Google could have done really well. And I think they are trying to do better with tables, which we'll get to later. But downloading and using templates that other people use also I think is a bit overrated. You end up doing a lot of 
of customizations. Everybody has very particular tastes and styles and usage of Google Sheets that I think templates are to some degree useless. They're a starting point, but generally you should learn more about Google Sheets and create your own sheets. And sure, it may save you a lot of time, but over the long term time and usage of sheets, you're just going to be making your own sheets and, and they're going to be way more useful than other people's ideas of how you should work. Every business is different. Every business has different logic. Every business has, diff has different people who all act. And I love that Google Sheets is so ubiquitous, used by 2 billion users. But this template gallery, I think, is almost useless. In fact, I have literally never used the template gallery to this day. And I've been using Google Sheets for 10 years. Is the first formula on our list. Some if formula is so amazingly useful. I think it's underrated because because it is slightly hard to understand. You can go to better sheets, co slash formulas slash some if, find videos that I've made that feature some if formula and I have a little description of what it does. But the one key thing that I still find myself having trouble with with some if is the fact that you will look for the if in the range and then a criteria and then sum up a range. That trips me up almost every time I use some if it's just the basic syntax. I almost never remember it. Even 10 years in these formulas I use all the time. I don't remember the syntax. Use the help inside Google Sheets. That is extremely underrated. VLOOKUP is overrated. I love index match. It's a Google Sheet formula combination that is way more flexible than VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP makes your data very constrained. You have to have the unique list in the first column and then also using the index to say, okay, one or two or three or four columns over, that's where I want to look up, I think is extremely constraining and a very old style of data where we're a lot of times we're looking at data that has been sort of mangled and mashed up. So index match is way better. It's a combination of the index and match. If you go to bettersheets.co slash formulas slash match, you'll find a lot of videos that feature that index match, like use index match when you want VLOOKUP. It is way, way, way more flexible. And I find it is the way that we are thinking about how to search for things more efficiently than VLOOKUP. Nate, this is a very simple formula and it may seem simple on the outside where you're just literally putting together strings, numbers or characters in a single cell. I use this all the time. It is super simple and super useful. I would go, I, I, I'm not gonna say it's underrated. It is actually simple, but it's definitely not overrated because it's extremely useful. So I will say it's correctly rated. If you don't know concatenate, it is probably one of the hardest formulas to remember the name of and actually how to spell it, but you can use concat to combine things. As you type in concat, Google help will finish it. That's really nice. The new tables are fascinating. This is, I think Google Sheets, I think it's Google Sheets answer to Airtable, but it's way more than that. I think it is the actual better version of the template gallery. Inside sheets, we can go to insert tables. It's over here on the right side. It has a bunch of awesome things. They have done a couple of things that are really useful as you're using Google Sheets. So like if we have an event planner here, say an event schedule, it not only has columns that are start times, it has already formatted this as a date picker. Really, this is awesome data validation, which I am a huge fan of. Data validation is one of the key parts of, if you haven't done data validation, it's saying of all the data you can put into this well, here's the type you can. It doesn't check if it's correct or not. It's not gonna check the veracity of your data, meaning the truth of your data, but it will constrain the user to make sure that they're putting in the right type of data, especially around dates, times, picking out drop-down menus are a form of data validation, picking from a list, that kind of stuff. Is tables overrated, correctly rated, or underrated? I haven't heard anything about it, so I can't say it's overrated. Personally, I haven't done enough project work recently to really see the usefulness of tables. So I'll actually say it's correctly rated at this moment. I think it will get better. The kinds of things it allows you to do, I already know how to set these things up. Saving the time to set those up, it's not really saving me time because I'll still have to edit these. So the amount of time you're saving is not really that much, but I like it. I like the idea. I like also that it is always has this, it, it already has this insert row below and it's going to continually keep your data 
validated. I think that's pretty awesome. AppScript is the coding language behind any Google Sheet. If you have Google Sheets, you have AppScript. It's an extensions AppScript and it's a coding language very similar and actually is JavaScript. It allows you to integrate with Google Docs, Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Tasks. The usefulness of AppScript is almost infinite. And I would go to say it is actually infinite. And the amount of people who know how to use AppScript, I think is a very, very low. So I will say it is extremely underrated. If I had an extremely underrated, I would put that here. I would say this is extremely underrated. Obviously, I think it's underrated because I see the usefulness of it. I use it all the time. I'm doing work for clients all the time, adding AppScript, adding automations, and I'm showing you how to do automations here on Bettersheets and Bettersheets.co. I have courses that are deep, deep, deep into AppScript, but also really, really simple courses like Learn to Code in Google Sheets, a really simple course that allows you to learn to code quickly under an hour. I think AppScript is extremely underrated. It saved me so much time, it made my career. So if I could tell you one thing to use in Google Sheets beyond anything else that is going to make your career level up, whatever you're doing, AppScript is the answer. What do I think is the rating of Google Sheets. Now, I've been using Google Sheets for 10 years. I don't think I've gotten to the end of the limit of Google Sheets yet. That's a decade of using it professionally. I've been coding in App Script, creating Google Sheets for large companies, small companies, startups for my own startup. I'm now teaching Google Sheets and I find new uses every week. In the first five years, I used Google Sheets every single day and I learned something every single day. These days, it is a little bit slower, but I still have not found the limit of Google Sheets. I think Google Sheets is still underrated. I think it's getting better with more features, making Google Sheets way better with AI, with these tables. There's more to do with Google Sheets than 10 years ago. Google Sheets has unlimited potential and is underrated. What's your rating? Do you think any of these are wrong? Comment below if you think Google Sheets is overrated. Let me know 